Welcome viewers. Today we are going to start with exercise 8.2 of class 8 mathematics comparing quantities. Question number 1. A man got 10% increase in his salary. If his new salary is 1,54,000, find his original salary. So, let's the original salary be x and he has got increase of 10%. That is, the increase is 10%. We multiply 10% as 10 by 100 and his new salary that is plus this is the increase plus the existing salary that is x is equal to 1,54,000 clear this is his original salary and this is the increase that is 10% got an equation let's solve it so this is 10x by 100 plus x is equal to so what this is 100x straight away we write 110 10x plus 100x is equal to we move 100 into so x that is original sum is 100 into divided by 110 divide by 11 we get this value as 1400000 so we get the value as x is equal to 140000 that means his original salary is equal to 1 lakh 40,000 rupees. Clear? Question number 2. On Sunday, 845 people went to the zoo. On Monday, only 169 people went. What is the percentage decrease in the people visiting the zoo on Monday? So, on Sunday, 845 people went to the zoo. On Monday, 169 people went to the zoo. So, decrease. 145 minus 169 that is 676 people went less on Monday. Now we have to find this decrease in percentage. So of 485 people decrease is 676. So when you calculate percentage you have to be you have to calculate on 100. So, of 100, what is the decrease? So, we will get the equation, expression as 100 into 676 divided by 4, 845. So, we divide by 13. So, here we get the value as 80. So percentage decrease is equal to 80 percent. Clear? Question number 3. A shopkeeper buys 80 articles for 2400 rupees and sells them for a profit of 16 percent. Find the selling price of one article. So cost price of 80 article is 2400 rupees. So, cost price of one article is equal to divided by 80 that equals to 30 rupees. Now, profit is 16 percent. So, profit of selling one article is 16 percent that is 16 by 100 of cost price of one article that is 30 this is equal to 16 3 sir so 
rupees 4.8 is profit of selling one article so we have to find selling price of one article is equal to cost price of one article plus profit that is equal to 30 plus 4.8 that is equal to 34.8 rupees so selling price of one article is 34.8 rupees clear question number four cost of an article was 15,500 rupees rupees 450 was spent on its repair if it is sold for a profit of 15 percent find selling price of the article so cost price of the article was 15,500 rupees amount spent on repair is 450 rupees so the new cost price which is the total cost price will be equal to 15,950 rupees selling price of the article will be profit plus total cost price so profit is equal to 15 percent that is 15 by 100 of the total cost price that is 15,950 so this is profit plus 15,950 so we get the value as so this is the profit plus 15 just add up to Selling price of article is equal to rupees eighteen thousand three forty two point five. Clear? Question number five. A VCR and a TV were bought for rupees eight thousand each. The shopkeeper made a loss of four percent on VCR and profit of eight percent on TV. Find the gain or loss percent on the whole transaction. So. Cost of TV is 8000. Now, this TV was sold for a profit of 8%. So, we get the profit on TV is equal to 8 by 100 into 8000. So, this equals to 640 rupees. Now VCR was again bought for 8,000 rupees and it was sold for a loss of 4%. So loss will be 4 by 100 into 8,000. This equals to 320 rupees. So we can see profit is more than loss. So net profit on the transaction will be equal to 340, 640 minus 320 so this equals to 320 rupees now we have got a profit in this transaction we have to find the percentage total cost price of TV and VCR is total cost price is equal to 8000 plus 8000 that is 16000 on the 16000 Profit is 320. So profit percentage is equal to of 16,000. Profit is 320 rupees. So of 100, how much it will be? We we'll multiply with 100. Clear? Yeah. I can explain. On 16,000, profit was 320. So on 100. What will be the profit? So it cost multiply and divide by 16,000. So profit percent will be equal to 2%. So 
this is profit percentage on the transaction clear question number six during a sale a shop offered a discount of 10 percent on mart prices of all items what would a customer have to pay for a pair of jeans mart 1450 rupees and two shirts mart 850 each so jeans cost that is mrp of jeans is 1450 rupees and he has purchased a pair that is one jeans and mrp of shirt is equal to 850 and he has purchased two shirts so total price of the shirts will be that is total mrp of the shirt will be 2 into 850 that is, is equal to 1700 now total mrp is equal to we add this to up so we get the value as 1450 plus 1700 is equal to 0 5 1 and 3 3150 rupees discount is equal to 10 percent that is 10 percent 10 by 100 of total mrp that is So, total discount is 315 rupees. So, customer has to pay to pay total amount that is 3150 rupees minus the total discount that is 315 rupees. So, you get the value as 5, 3, and 8. 2000. 835 rupees so customer has to pay rupees 2835 clear question number seven a milkman sold two of his buffaloes for rupees 20,000 each on one he made gain of 5% and on the other a loss of 10% find this overall gain or loss so let's assume the cost price of first buffalo is b1 he has sold this buffalo with a profit of 5%. So, the selling price 20,000 is equal to the cost price B1 of the buffalo plus the gain that is 5%. So, 5 by 100 into B1. So, this is the gain. So, we get it as 20,000 is equal to this is we won't simplify right now we get it as 105 b1 divided by 100 so b1 is equal to 20,000 into 100 divided by 105 now this is the cost price gain on this is 5% so gain on the buffalo one is equal to five percent of this amount clear so we now reduce it and try to divide this by division method I have already done it we get the value it has 952.38 so this is the gain by selling first buffalo now let's find the loss by selling second buffalo let the price be b2 so 20000 will be equal to b2 minus the loss that is 10 percent 10 by 100 into b2 so we get it as 20,000 is equal to this is 100 minus 10 that is 90 b2 so b2 is equal to 20,000 divided by 90 loss is equal to 10 percent 10 by 100 of B2. So, 
of. I've already calculated, we get it as we have missed here a hundred. So it will be 90 B2 by 100. So here it will be into 100. Okay, so this amount comes to be 0.2. So this is the loss of selling second buffalo. Okay, so this is of course larger. So total loss will be equal to 2 minus the gain on the first buffet. This comes out to be 1269.82 rupees is the total loss. Total loss is equal to this much rupees. Clear? Question number 8. Price of a TV is 13,000 rupees. Sales tax charge on it is at rate of 12%. Find the amount that we know will have to pay if he buys it. So Cost of the TV is equal to 13,000. Sales tax on it is 12%. So let's calculate the tax. Tax is equal to 12%. That is 12 by 100 into 13,000. So if we get the value as 1,560 rupees is the tax. We know we will have to pay to pay. We have to pay the cost of the TV plus the tax. So, cost of the TV plus the tax. That equals to 13,000 plus this is equal to 6, 5, 14,560 rupees. So, we know we don't have to pay rupees. 14,560. Okay. Arun brought a pair of skates at a sale where the discount given was 20%. If the amount he pays is 1600 rupees, find the mark price. So let the mark price be X. So Arun paid 1600 rupees. This is equal to the mark price that is X minus the discount. And the discount is 20%. That is 20 by 100 of X. This is the mark price minus the discount. That is 20% is equal to the amount for TP. So let's get the value of X by solving this equation. So we get this as X minus this is X by 5. So we get this value as 4x, this is 5x minus x, 4x by 5, this is equal to 1500. So, we get the value of 4, or state we write x is equal to 1600 into this 5 divided by 4, that equals to 400 into 5, that is 2000. So, we have got the value of x, and x is nothing but what have been asked the question? That is mod price of the skates. So is equal to two thousand rupees. Okay. Question number ten. I purchased a hair dryer for rupees five thousand four hundred, including eight percent VAT. Find the price before VAT. Was that so suppose before the VAT price was 
x rupees and on this amount x I have paid VAT of 8% that is value assist tax. So the VAT I have paid is equal to x into 8% that is 8 by 100. I have paid 5400 rupees and this amount is equal to the price before VAT that is x plus this amount that is VAT. I have paid the amount plus the VAT. So let's solve this equation. We get this as 100x plus 8x divided by 100. So we get amount here as 5400 into 100 is equal to 108x. So x will be equal to 5400 into 100 divided by 108. So this will compare to divided by this will be equal to 5000. So x is equal to 5000 and x is the amount prior to VAT. So the price before VAT is equal to rupees 5000. Clear? Question number 11. An article was purchased for Rs. 1,239 including GST of 18%. Find the price of the article before GST was added. So before GST we assume the price was rupees X. Now GST that is goods and service tax at the rate of 18% that is 18 by 100 of this value X. So total GST is this much. This was purchased at this rate that is 1239 rupees. This amount is equal to the base price plus the GST that is 18. This is GST. Okay. Now we got the equation. Let's solve this. So we get this as 100x plus 18x by 100. So we get the value of get this as 118x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 9 into this 100. Okay. So x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 9 into 100 divided by now this is a bit complex calculation this is not divisible by 2 or 3 so I have already done the calculation you have to do it by division method and we get this as 10.5 this values to 10.5 into 100 that equals to 1050 so x that is price of the article before GST so price of article before GST is equal to rupees 1050. Clear? Yeah.